Hi, Silica family. I just wanted to drop you guys a little video today to answer a few questions that I've gotten on YouTube. So, uh, what I want to tell you about is the different setups for the speaker systems that are in the Celicas. This is a 1999 GT, uh, and I'm in the United States too, so this is a US setup. I don't know if it was different in other countries. I have not researched this. Okay, so you'll notice there are three different speakers in the door. It has a high range uh, tweeter that's a one inch. Then there's the mid range, which is um, four inches. And then the lower range is an eight inch um, woofer. Uh, one thing to note that if you're gonna replace these speakers, you want to make sure you get the shallow mounting depth because if you get one that's wider, it's gonna either stick out here into the cabin or you're gonna have trouble with the clearance of your windshield going up and down. So just make a note of that. Also in the rear of the convertible, the speakers are six and a half. Now let's move over to the hatchback, which has a different setup. Now this car is a 1994, so um, this is OBD1 versus OBD2. It's also a GT, but it's a hatchback. Um, here you'll notice there are only two door speakers. So there's the one inch tweeter, and then down here you have, this is a full range speaker, which is a six and a half. And I believe in the rears as well, they're six and a half also. Um, other cars, which I don't have an example of, will only have four speakers in the car. And these right here, just the tweeters won't be there. It'll just be a flat trim piece here. So that's the third option. Okay, I also wanna note, there are two amplifiers that power the speakers in this car. This one is actually from the black convertible and it lives underneath the driver's seat. Then you have another one, which I don't know if you can see it here since I have this dash open, this right here is your second amplifier that powers the speakers in the car. So there's that too. So each of these have two amplifiers. So if you're putting an aftermarket system in, you might want to bypass those. You might not. Um, here is also one of the head units from a 99 Celica. Just wanted to show it to you. Um, there's different options for what um, harnesses will work with this. So just be careful and it's different depending on which system you have, whether you're OBD2, one or two, and what speaker setup you have. So that's just something to note. Um, let's see. Oh, another thing that someone asked me about was whether I took the fabric off of my door cards. And because my these are leather seats, the door cards um, just have the leather right here, but if you have fabric seats, there'll be fabric in here. And they do, these do kind of come out on the top a lot. You just stuff them back in. And anyways, so that's just a basic rundown of the speaker setup for the Celica. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and like it. And if you want to hear me talk more about Celicas, which believe me I can do, um, be sure to subscribe. And uh, if I could ask you one favor, please be good to other drivers on the road. We're all going through something that, you know, we don't know anything about. So a little bit of kindness goes a long way. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, Celica fam. Don't know why I'm doing jazz hands. <laughs> so I also want to note, um, actually wait, edit. Sorry, I'm editing in my head. When you're... Is there rodents living in your car? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a chipmunk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a rodent living in your car. Oh yeah, I, I've, I've kind of known this because there's been little... <laughs> little poops? Well, yes. And <laughs> little, well, more like little like like nuts and stuff on the engine. That's cute. I think we woke him up. Any <laughs> yeah, I think you did. I heard, I little, think, I heard little squeaks. I think it's like a chipmunk. I thought it was a squirrel, but it might be a chipmunk. I hear little squeaks. It sounds like it might be a mouse. 
<gasps> okay. It could be a chipmunk. You know. It's a little mammal. The car hasn't moved. Okay, that's another story. The car is making noise. There's definitely a rodent in this vehicle, which is fun. Okay. There's a mouse in here. I hope he's not eating your wires or something. He's getting louder. Let me see this. Me see he's this. under your hood. He's getting a lot louder. Oh my God, he's burrowing in your <gasps> right there. Where, where? He's burrowing where? in here, look. No, no, that was like that. I bet you he's living in there. Wait, wait, I can hear him. I think he might be living in there. And yeah, this looks like it's a little bit more squished out than it I used mean, to it's, be. I mean, it's insulation, why wouldn't oh, he Oh yeah, look how far it's squished out. There's like an actual hole in there. Yeah, why the hell wouldn't he be living in there? Oh man. I mean, it's warm, it's... Yeah. It's dark. I'm not using it, might as well. Here you go. Oh, look, he's moved stuffing over into this, this side. Uh, come from this direction. Oh, yeah. Look, he's yeah. moved stuffing over there. Yep. He's moved it into the... Moved insulation inside of your fender. Oh, mousy, mousy. Okay. All right, we'll let you go back to bed. I know, we scared you. I kind of wanted to see him. I know. It's a bummer. That would be cute. Okay.